about a fire at Aurora First Presbyterian Church the day before Good Friday. Yeah, that church damaged inside and out, but the congregation's moving forward as they wait for an answer as to why it happened. Fox 31's Andrea Henderson joining us with a look at the damage and details on that investigation. Andrea. And Jeremy, you can see the boarded up windows behind me where that fire started. The pastor tells me something was actually thrown through the window and that's what sparked the fire. His office here is destroyed and there's smoke damage all throughout the church. Uh, our church was firebombed on the day before Good Friday. A fire at Aurora First Presbyterian Church. All of that is my three offices. They're completely destroyed. Uh, the rest of the building has significant smoke damage. Just days before Easter Sunday. This particular attack on the uh, house of God, a house of faith, is very concerning to us. Weeks later. Pray for those who caused this damage. And still no answers. They confirmed it was arson the day of the fire. They brought the arson dog in just hours after the fire and he picked up on the uh, accelerant immediately. Pastor Thomas Mays says it will take at least six months to rebuild the charred and melted remains of his office. My emotions is off the chart. Uh, I took it personal because it was my offices. Uh, I've been in this building 20 years. I've got a lot of memories in there. I have a lot of things that cannot be replaced. I'm so thankful no one was hurt. The destruction bringing ministries under the same roof even closer together. When Pastor Mays is hurt and when he is intact, we feel that we are attacked as well because we, we really do feel like we are brothers and sisters here. And proving the resilience among everyone who worships here. We refuse to stop having service. It's not going to get in the way of what we are doing here. We will continue to gather people. Uh, we will continue to do our best to love each other and care for each other. And Aurora Fire confirms that this fire is under investigation, but they couldn't provide any more details at this time because of that investigation. In the meantime, if you know or saw anything here on the morning of March 28th, you are asked to call Aurora Police. Live here in Aurora, Andrea Henderson, Fox 31. All right.